Hey guys, welcome to Fields. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to make your iPhone footage look more cinematic. all heard the saying the best camera is the one in your pocket and for most of us it's the iPhone and it's actually pretty crazy how good the cameras are on our cell phones these days it's not too long ago that you couldn't even film 24 frames per second unless you had a super expensive camera let alone slow motion and time lapse and all these other things that we have all in this one little thing our cell phone which is incredible now it's not gonna be as good as a DSLR or anything like that don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, but it is a pretty handy tool for certain things. But today I wanna to talk about how can we make our iPhone footage look even better? What can we do to make it higher quality and look more cinematic? First off, just like on any camera, you need to film in 24 frames per second. Natively, the iPhone shoots in 30 frames per second, so you need to use some sort of app that switches it into 24 frames per second. The app that I use is Filmic Pro. It has just a lot of tools, including choosing 24 frames per second for your videos. On top of that, you can control all sorts of other things like your shutter speed and your white balance. And it just has a whole bunch of different tools that makes it really handy to use. And it's actually pretty cheap. I think it's around $15. I think I even got it for free at some point. Um, it's just a really good tool to use. Number two is to use a stabilizer. Just like with any other camera that you use, you should be using some form of stabilization, especially with such a small little camera like the iPhone is, it's so light and just flimsy, it's really hard to keep it really steady and smooth. So you need to use some sort of stabilizer. And what I've been using for stabilization is the Zhiyun Smooth 3. This thing is really handy. It's actually one of the most useful gimbals I've used just because it's so easy and quick to set up and it just works really well. It has a bunch of different modes that you can use for different purposes like locking some of the axes. Um, it's just really handy and I like that it's so easy to set up. There's an app that you can use to control it and do all sorts of things like track yourself. It's actually really handy and it's really good for live streaming too for your iPhone because it can actually go vertical. So you can actually be live streaming using this and get really nice smooth footage and not have that shake the whole time. So you can literally give this to anybody and they'd be able to hold it steady and you could do a really nice live stream with it. That's something I'm definitely gonna be using the Smooth 3 for. But using a gimbal like the Smooth 3, you can get really nice smooth motion. It just makes it so much more cinematic when you can hold it steady and just do these really cool movements, going from real low to real high or just spinning around your character, all sorts of things. There's just so many possibilities with a gimbal. So make sure to use stabilization for your phone. Oh, and before I forget, this episode is sponsored by the amazing people at Squarespace, which I'm super excited about. I'm really happy to be collaborating with them because I've already been using their product for a couple years now. And do you know why I like Squarespace? It's because it's so easy to use. It's the first website platform that I've used that I've just been able to really easily and quickly make a beautiful website that I'm really happy about. There's no updates or no patches or anything that you need to be doing. All you have to do is just choose a beautiful design and just put in your photos and your text and all that and you're good to go. It's so simple. And if you do have any questions, they have amazing customer service. You can ask them about anything. So whether you need a domain or a website or an online store, start your free trial today at squarespace.com and use the offer code TRAVELFEELS to get 10% off your first purchase. So let's get back to talking about making your iPhone footage look more cinematic. Number three, you wanna try different lens attachments. There's a whole bunch of different lenses that you can use that make your iPhone footage look much better, but also they allow you to get different kinds of shots that you would never be able to get on an iPhone. Whether it's a macro shot or a really wide shot or a more zoomed in shot that you just can't get normally. I was playing around with this guy, the Stylus Revolver, which is really interesting. It's an iPhone case that has a whole bunch of different lenses built into this attachment. You have a wide angle lens, a fisheye, a macro, you have a polarizer, all built into this one thing. It's super handy because you can switch from one lens to the next really quickly and not have to change anything really. You just spin it and choose your next lens, boom, you're ready to go. 
So use some different lens attachments to enhance the look of your iPhone footage. Number four, actually take all that footage, put it on your computer and edit it. Put it to music, color grade it, do all that stuff that you normally would with your footage. Just because it's iPhone footage doesn't mean you can't use it in a professional manner. Just by taking that footage, editing it together to some amazing music and color grading it, it's gonna make your footage look so much better. I actually really enjoy color grading, so this is something fun to play around with. And number five, if you're doing any sort of talking to your iPhone, make sure to use some sort of microphone like this Rode VideoMic Me. It just really easily attaches to your cell phone and you're gonna get much higher quality audio out of your phone. And this is really important. You don't want your audio to be distracting the whole time. It's a really easy thing to fix with something like this guy. It doesn't take up much space. Really simple, handy, easy to use. So there we have it. Five ways to make your iPhone footage look more cinematic. Use 24 frames per second. Use a stabilizer like the Smooth 3. Use some different lens attachments like the Stylus Revolver. Number four, edit that footage, color grade it, make it look better. And number five, use some sort of microphone for better audio. Guys, remember to check out Squarespace if you're looking for a website and use that offer code travel feels to get 10% off your first purchase. Man, we're so close to getting 100,000 subscribers on the Travel Feels channel. I'm so excited. I have a bunch of giveaways planned for that when we do reach it. I just want to say a huge thank you to all you guys for supporting the channel, supporting me. And I just want to keep making more and more content for all of us to learn together. I'm just really excited for all the things to come. So stay tuned for those giveaways. Guys, enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those Travel Feels. Oh,